Hello, influencers. How are we doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me. Happy Sunday, people. <laughs> Welcome to another interesting edition of No Host Bad with IT. My name is Itinu. How are you doing, my people? Thank you so much to you, all of my subscribers, those who have joined the family of influencers. I call my subscribers influencers because I believe that you are influencing your world, no matter how little. That's what we are about on this platform okay people how are you doing thank you so much if you are seeing this channel for the first time this is where we say the way it is it is a no holds bar we don't look face okay yeah so um i'm going to i'm continuing with Faye daniels your bishop yeah <laughs> it's unfortunate a lot of you you said you don't know what Google is, okay? Because if you put this man's name, say he done this. Actually, I've not heard about him before two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, when one of you sent me, you know, the video we'll be talking about is the thing he called his prophecy. That's not even the issue now. So I, I, I just wanted to find his photos. I've said it before on on Google. So I put because when I do my thumbnails myself. Thumbnails is the cover of the video. So I put photos of Bishop Faye Daniels. Voila! <laughs> and the rape cases came up that he, he was allegedly, you know, said to have raped two people. And uh, one twice and all that and all that. So we'll be talking about that. Now, <clears throat> Faye Daniels has another ministry, Ministry of Nakedness. <laughs> You will you see the video. I'm sure you've seen it before. You will see it again. Join me on this. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. If you have done that, thank you for joining me. Uh, God bless, bless, bless you. All right. So, uh, I, I'm going to allow you. Uh, to watch a video mm -hmm, uh, uh, where he claimed to have gone to a village to evangelize and he had to ooh, he had to go naked <laughs> did you see the pattern the 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 lady who said he forcefully had kind of knowledge of her uh, he, that lady say if he told her to strip <clears throat> in his house to strip naked. So I'm guessing I'm I mean believe I'm you know that this guy has ministry of um uh, nakedness as I want to say it because that, okay this story okay I was talking about Google so so a lot of people they say okay is it Google that will be now be telling us Google is the Google, Google owns YouTube. Let me educate you. And those two are the biggest search engine. People use them to, to do projects, to write chesses, to write projects, to write, you know, anything. So that's it. That's all Google is. So befriend Google. Google is your friend. If you put the name of A. Daniels in Google, you will see a lot of stuff. Majorly, it's real case. I want you to... I mean, they allegedly <laughs> Watch this. Late last year, we had an outreach to Ivory Coast, the village in Ivory Coast. And um, I'm looking for those that can do the same thing in this meeting. It's better those that can do anything for Jesus. We tried to witness in that village about twice, about three eyes. It, it, it didn't work. It didn't allow us to get into their village. Their village had boundaries and had laws. Jesus was not known there. They've not even heard of Jesus, let alone Jesus Christ. All right. Why did they reject us? In that village in Ivory Coast, they dress naked. I'm not missing my word. Because nakedness is a dressing. They don't wear clothes. That's what I'm saying. You're like, in 2017, yes. They do not wear clothes. Not even pants. Not rapper. We tried to approach them twice. We couldn't. Redeemed Church, all the churches you have talked about, I've tried it. Then we went back. Because for you to even enter the village as a visitor, you have to go naked. 
sons of those villages that has left those villages, that village for business or school, when they come back to that village, they come back naked. They get to the border, you undress before you enter. If you are a visitor, you are coming to see the king, you are allowed to come in with your boxer or your pants. But before that, you'll be given 24 strokes of cane, of koboko. That was the law. So we tried it, they've told us all of that. I said, hmm, it is well. So I went back home. Because we went there with clothes, like mission outreach, take clothes, take this. They rejected it. I was at home praying one day, the Lord told me, the reason they do not wear clothes in that village is because they are idle for bait tempt from wearing clothes. When the Lord told me that, I called my pastor in Ivory Coast, because we have a church in San Pedro, in Ivory Coast. I called my pastor in Ivory Coast. I said, this is what the Lord told me. Prepare an interpreter, get our team, we are going there. So, we got to the village, we got clothes, we had it in bags, we were told the same thing, we knew that. We were told either we take to first fruits of king to see the king, and after seeing the king will leave. We won't be able to witness, and they won't receive the clothes, or we go in naked. If you know you love Jesus, let me see. Alright, we had to go naked. We undressed, and we went like Adam and Eve. If you can do that, let me see. Answer has gone down. You can go naked just to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. So we went in naked. Their king was naked, except but a leaf. So we got to the king, and I told the king, I've been reliably told that the reason you don't wear clothes in this village is because of an idol that speaks and told him not to wear clothes. Can the idol talk to us? If the idol can tell us the same thing, we won't mind, we will go back with the clothes and we will leave your village. Because we knew that we couldn't keep witnessing every day naked. It will be a problem. So we needed to deal with it. Those with that, we appeased the king, we gave him the things that tradition requires, we gave him gifts and everything. But the king said, no problem, summon the high priest or the chief priest. Then we went to the shrine. We have done the needful before we went. We have prayed for days. We have prayed for days. So we go to the shrine. The idol is like the skull, the, the skull of a man's head. That's where the idol is, and it talks. The chief priest greeted the idol, he said, Then he said, they have come to ask you questions, this and this and this. As we got there, he started binding, quieting. He started binding every demon spirit in that environment. After all of the incantation and chanting, the idol refused to talk. The priest did the second time, the idol refused to talk. The king said, what is wrong with our God, God, as he traveled. We were there, sitting down. The third time, the man chanted again. After he chanted, a thunder from heaven and struck the idol's head. And the idol split it into two, like this. Right there, the chief priest ran away. The king ran to his palace. Then we started chasing him. Wait now. Wait, the king said, I don't want to see you. Who are you people? You are gods. You are not ordinary. He said, I said, come. Yes, we know. We came. We have come with Jesus. And the man was surprised. That day, the king passed a law. And Jesus became the king of kings and the lord of lords in that village. Do you understand? That same day. That same day, we had over 1,000 souls. The village is no more than 1,500. We had about 1,400 souls that day. They gave us the land for church and all of that. That same day. Now they are wearing clothes. Do you understand? Then later other ministries tried to come there. The king said, no, I only believe in the God of Irene Christian family. I don't want any church here. That's the name of our ministry. But my question is, how much can you do for Jesus? How much? How many people can really go naked because of the gospel? How many people? How much can you really do for Jesus? How much? Hmm. Okay, so you had that. Now, uh, the question I would like to ask for you, Daniel, is that, what is the name of the village? Yep. You did this feat according to you in this village and you kept you you won is it 1400 souls that day you kept saying the village the village the village what is the name of the village because i would like to find out i would like to investigate i'm an investigative journalist 
I belong to a body called IRE, Investigative Reporters and Editors. It cuts across the globe. So we have people in Ivory Coast that we can connect, that we find out about this 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 thing that you painted, Faye. What Faye has just done is, is just what happened in First Kings 18. If you read that scripture, we are Elijah confronted the prophet of Baal. Yeah. You see, I I responded to somebody in my <laughs> during the week, there is no prophecy in heaven. All right, all this gimmick that this guy is doing. Now you went to you went to that village. You want so many souls. In your head, is still the village, the village, the village. It doesn't have a name. So I'm challenging you, for you Daniels. Give me the name of the of the of the village. I'll find out. You see, I, because I know you see my video, because, uh, yeah, I know you see my videos, because you are feeling the heat already. What we are saying here, please give this video a thumbs up if you have said it a lot of time and you watch videos, just give thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> the same way subscribing to channels doesn't cost you anything. All right, so... Uh, Oh my God. Interestingly, people will sit under this kind of lies. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. Faye, I challenge you. Give me the name of that village. I will connect with colleagues in Ivory Coast and you will find out. It will, we will see it in the news. This is a, this video you just watched is courtesy of Champion newspaper. That is the video that was attached with the story punch I, I i i gave you the punch version of the past uh, of the lady pastor that he invited to his house in lekki and the lady allegedly said he told her to strip what is it about nakedness with you Faye? what is it let's know like what is what are you doing with it <sighs> and people will sit under this kind of lies and they'll be shouting hey you are ah, ah. Uh, Pastor Matthew Ashimolo came to preach somewhere here in the U.S. I happened to be in that service. And he began to talk. Uh, this shoe I wear is made from snake skin. My house in Lagos, I can turn off the lights in my house in Lagos from London. If I'm in Lagos, I can park my car in London. I talk to my car. Uh... I bought flower verse worth £1,500. I bought two from China. That's £3,000. Uh, I, what is it? This, this shirt I'm wearing, it said the, number, the amount of pounds it's, it's worth. Um, what else did it say that day? I carried my bag. I left the service. Yes, that was, that was pre COVID, before COVID. I left. Is that, is that the gospel? Is that is that what we say you should preach? The Bible says preach the gospel. This is it. Preach. Preach the gospel. Jesus is the good news. Preach him. That's it. All this self-glorification will not help anybody. Will not take you anywhere. I left that service because I got irritated. What is wrong with this man? Matthew Ashin Molo that you know. I left the service. Um, my house in Lagos, the furniture is uh, was imported from Italy, and so what? That's why people will go out of church and they become, they become depressed, they become dejected. I'm supposed to be in a service and go home excited, and go home a changed person, and go home happy. Not that I will leave a service and I'll be like, oh, what is what's wrong with my life? And why am I not still getting it right? Why am I not? Because they have attached everything with money. I'm sure if we have the, the details of this video, if it is longer than this, we are Feyi is drive was driving at her in this video is about giving. 
when we began to say, can you do anything for the gospel? Can you maybe call some numbers of uh, money to be given that day? One of you, my viewers, wrote a comment during the week. One of the videos I dropped on him. On him. The man said, "Boys, I saw his photo of a guy. He said, yes, I'm right about that. You are right about him. Him, him. That he, there was a time he sought audience to see him, to see Faye Daniels. And Faye Daniels asked him to pay. Not in Naira, in dollars. How much do you pay to see God? You see, the number of hours we wait in reception of all these people called men of God. If we spend, if you spend one hour with God in your room, something must drop. He must, he must lead you. He must give you direction. This is awareness. Like I said, I don't know for you, Daniel. From I can't even know this kind of person. I can't sit under this kind of person's ministration. It won't happen. Not in this lifetime. Not in the life to come. So if you are, I, 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 if you are still going to church because of prophecy, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. There's nothing God wants to tell you. There's nothing God wants to tell somebody else about you that He cannot tell you. I always say it on this channel: God is your father. God doesn't have grandchildren. He only has children. He doesn't have grandchildren. You are his child. So why do you need an intermediary between you and your creator? I've made analogies on this channel before. If your child, your child, if your child goes to your elder brother or your junior brother, not even outside as well, your junior brother, not even your neighbor, your junior brother or your elder brother and say, oh, uncle, please, and come and help me. Uh, ask my daddy for my school fees. What will you, as if you are the other brother, you know, what will you ask that child? The next thing we say, oh, yeah, what's going on with, between you and your daddy, right? That's it with God. If you need somebody to talk to God on your behalf, then that means you and God are quarreling. And if you are and God are quarreling, He cannot even hear the the voice of that person. That is where salvation comes in. Give your life to Christ. Serve him. Chicken. That's all. That's all. That's all. He said, just, just obey him. Just serve him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all, all those things will be added. They are jar their addition <laughs> the things you are running after they will be running after you just just give your life to him that's it then you will not be under the bondage of this type of character like a daniels you go need so your ding ding was oh my god <laughs> ah! your boy like you know what boy like is that it was now dangling under you. If people sitting under you are stupid, others listening outside, they are not. So I'm challenging you, Faye Daniels. Give me the name of the village. A village you are you you are able to achieve this feat according to you to the for the Lord. And you don't know the name of the village. All through this video, the village, the village, the village, the village. Now, have you finished winning souls in Nigeria? <laughs> that you now have to go to Cote d'Ivoire to go and go naked. See, just repent. I mean, repent because uh, there's 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 no, you, there's no you can't we can't go too far from from him from grace. No matter how far we have gone. His arms are outstretched. He's ready to take us back. Mm. So don't think that, oh, I've done something that even if you have killed before, that is it. That is, that is it. The moment you give your life to Christ, you, you forget. He, he, the Bible says the things we did uh, uh, when we were ignorant, 
he has overlooked, he will begin a new record with you. He forgets. That's why Baba Obadari, for blessed memory, some of you know him, Baba Obadari or says, he says, don't allow wishes to kill you. Because if a wish kill you, and tomorrow the wish gets say she's born again. <laughs> now you lose her if you don't get born again. And even that, a wish cannot even kill a born again child of God. The wish, chop witch. Eh? The wish that will kill me has not taken that power. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee, that's what my scripture says, every, no exception, was bow. And every thong must confess that it's God. So give your life to Christ and stop following all these fake people. They will mislead you. Ministry of Nakedness. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll drop a video on the why Negotiants are saying no to some They are not, uh, they, they, they say they don't have anything against him. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you the reason why they are saying no. So if they don't, if they don't have anything against him, why they say no? <laughs> you know, the election, government the election is just Saturday in Nigeria. So thank you so much. Please um, go to church with your brains intact. God doesn't have grandchildren. He only has children. I love you. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.